Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of the Disc Golf Answer Man. What's up, D-Gam crew? Bobby Cool, Daddy Slick Breeze, Eric Never at the Office Anymore, McCabe, and Robert Big Ol' Muscle Groups, McCall. <laughs> I'm Tagashi from John City, Tennessee, and if you can hear stuff in the background, just ignore it. It's my daughter. Can't go in another room because I'm supposed to be watching her, but you know, disc golf takes precedence. Just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, my question comes from something I noticed in Prodigy's version of Is This Disc Right For You videos. And don't worry, Bobby, yours are still OG and way better. <laughs> But I noticed that in their videos, they had people of different skill levels from junior to pro men and women throwing all their discs at different weights. But I was paying specific attention to the D1, which was their most overstable distance driver. But I noticed that the lower weights, like between 148 to 150s, that the amateurs were getting the disc to turn slightly and that the pros were just getting the disc to completely hyzer flip and then turn out. My question is, is that is this is this a valid and reliable way of getting the disc to do different flight shapes while still keeping a consistent mold and or plastic? Like, for example, can this be replicated with a defender and enforcer at higher weights to be the tried and true overstable disc, but at a lower weight getting uh, the same mold to potentially be a reliable Anheuser shot? Thanks for answering my question. Love what you guys do. And as always, keep it real. I know on the Defender, especially, there's actually a run right now that the 166 that I have in my bag is the most overstable version of that disc. I have no idea why. I know it's got a lot, maybe it has a little bit more dome to it. Could have something to do with the stability of it, but just because a disc is, is lighter weight doesn't always necessarily mean it's going to be an, an Anheuser disc. I would say if you have two of the same run, of defender or enforcer, the lighter one will generally be less overstable. Generally, yes. that's true. Maybe not as much on like high speed, right? Domey drivers, but something more like a fairway driver. Then I would absolutely agree. I agree. It's when you get down into the one forties, one fifties. I think that's far enough away from the one seventies that it really does change the flight characteristics. Mm -hmm. And so, if if you're able to find some, say, like an enforcer down around that weight range, maybe that's an air enforcer or something like that, I I do think that'll fly a little bit less overstable. Uh, but have you thrown an air enforcer? Well, I mean, they're generally really overstable, they but are. they're also board flat. They're, yeah. they're a, it's almost a different run, really. Um, so it's not a tried and true rule that lighter discs are less overstable yeah that's that can be the case and if it's the if they're discs made at the exact same time same plastic but the lighter weight one will generally be less overstable correct but it's not a rule across the board 